When you're multiplying polynomials, really what you're doing is using the distributive process, but a lot of times you're using it multiple times over. Each term in each polynomial gets multiplied by everything else. It gets really tricky. That's why a lot of times teachers will show students what I'm going to show you here. It's the area model for multiplying polynomials. Let me show you what I mean. You guys already know about area. If you have a rectangle, the area of the rectangle is length times width. Like if I had this rectangle here and I told you the top was 7, the side was 6, you would say area equals 7 times 6 or 42. You would get that same answer if I broke that rectangle into pieces. Instead of 7, I'm going to break it into 4 and 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. And on the side here, I'm going to make it 1 plus 5. Now I have four different rectangles and when I find the area of each little chunker, you'll see they add up to 42. Here's what I mean. 4 times 1 give me this little area. 4 times 1 is 4. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 5 would be 20. 3 times 5 is 15. I broke this into four separate pieces and when I add them up, I'll get 42. 4 plus 3 is 7. Plus 20 is 27. Plus 15 more is 42. So what that means is that I can use this idea of broken rectangles to multiply binomials. Here's what I mean. I could do the product x plus 3 times 2x plus 1 by writing it its rectangle. I'm going to call this top x plus 3. Notice my drawing isn't to scale, but that's okay. I'm just going to have my products be in here. 2x plus 1 going to be my side lengths. So now when I multiply each of these four things and add them together, I'll get the same answer that I would have gotten had I foiled. Here's what I mean. x times 2x is 2x squared. 3 times 2x is 6x. x times 1 is x. 3 times 1 is 3. So when I add those all together, I'll get 2x squared plus 6x plus x is 7x plus 3. That's the answer for this product. I wrote it out a little differently than the FOIL process, but this is the same answer you would have gotten using FOIL. This method is good because it helps you, at least it helps me, make sure that each term gets multiplied by every other term. The x gets multiplied by 2x and 1, and the 3 gets multiplied by 2x and 1. This area model is also really, really useful when you get into big polynomials like this, plus 5x to the third times. I'm just making this up, and I'm not going to do this problem, but I'm telling you that this area model would be really useful in multiplying these three trinomials. Otherwise, I'd have to do x times x squared, x times 5x, x times 3, like it would take a lot of organization in my brain to do this product without a rectangle, but using a rectangle, with three boxes across the top and three boxes down the side, I could do this product pretty easily. So again, this is just another strategy. If the distributive process in FOIL works well in your brain, just go with that. If this area model works well in your brain, do that instead. It's totally up to you. Whatever works in your head is fine. This tends to be better for people who are visual learners. So if you know you're a visual person, go with this. Hopefully it'll help you get your homework problems done correctly.